really had a lot of time on their hands. <laughs> or they just really didn't want you to miss that key. <laughs> well, you have to be very stupid to miss the key. Hey, look, a key! <laughs> I'm pretty sure all of you know rocks. Is, is there a lock around here someplace? I start uh, smelling. I start, I sniff, I use my ability to sniff lock. <laughs> this is um, something that literally only Kenna would know, and like, it would probably take you a little bit of re- Like, you could spend some time using your book to research this, like, key if you would like. Alright, yeah. Um, I will stare at the key for a couple of seconds, and then get out my book and start flipping through the pages, muttering to myself. Okay. Um, while she's doing that, is anybody else going to do anything? Look around the room, see if there's anything else. Nope, there's I... nothing else. Dust? Without nope. touching it, I'm going to be <laughs> inspecting the key. <laughs> and what I what I mean by inspecting, I'm going to be judging how hard it would be to shatter. Um, It looks like it is made of actual dragon bone and obsidian, most likely. Okay. So... You could break it if you wanted to. Okay. By the looks of it, anyways. Unless that's... it's magical, then who knows? Yeah, well, that's Rock's solution to any artifact. Hit it real hard and hope it breaks. <laughs> Which is always <laughs> the worst route to take with artifacts. So, yep. I go on the opposite side of the artifact. Taking the Gimli route. Yeah. Hey, it's, <laughs> it's worked before. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I go on the opposite side of the key and kind of stare at it like Rock is. And What are we looking at? Since he's been a god, it has worked 100% of the time. <laughs> you're not wrong. Yeah, fair enough. You're, you're gonna hit it? Probably. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm, I step away. Not right now. Oh. Not right now. Oh, okay. But... <laughs> Does the pedestal look any different? Or just... um, but so, the pedestal stands out from all the surrounding stuff because it, too, is made out of obsidian. And then, like, the platform, like, the piece of... The what you'd consider like the platform on top of the pedestal is made of dragon bone as well. So it's a very specific pedestal for the key. Um, you can actually, you guys are all pretty astute, and I'm sure at least one of you has good perception. You can actually see a ring around the key where there'd probably be like a very, 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 very faint dust line, almost like from like a glass casing. For a display case. Hmm. I have a passive so, perception of 16, so. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, you probably would notice this. It looks very similar to, like, the best way I can describe it is, like, the glassing that goes over, like, the flower in yep. Beauty and the Beast. That's just, that's, that's what pit popped into my head when you said a glass, yep. like, cover thing. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. And I mean, like, this line is very faint, but it's definitely there. Hey, see that? Since, since me and Rock are staring at the key. <laughs> There was a case around this thing. <laughs> Talking about, like, in case of emergency, break glass? Yeah. So oh. looks like the glass. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's also just like an emergency key. <laughs> but so they got, they broke the glass but never got to the key. Maybe. So close. So close. Maybe the glass was an artifact, and that's what happens when you break artifacts. <laughs> you don't make it to the next part. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Well, they already did the bad part. Now we get to use the key. You don't get to step two if you're disintegrated. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, uh, what's Pierce doing during this? Uh, looking at the pedestal. See if it goes anywhere, it just sits there. The pedestal is actually hovering above the plat like the like the platform you guys are on by like three or four inches. Oh. So it's definitely it's a called object, so it's been brought here from a different plane most likely. Mm. Or like a demi plane or something. Like a beholder. <laughs> like a lot of things. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey you what are you doing over there? Come over here! I don't belong here! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you're stuck here. <laughs> um, so, Kenna, your research will take a little bit. Not a terribly long period of time. Especially from Kenna's standpoint. 
Yeah, um, so just a short minute. I'll just stand here and do it. Yep. Um, so after a handful of minutes of studying through your book, um, it, it's actually kind of shocking to you because it actually takes longer than you were expecting it to take <laughs> in your book. Like, four minutes pass, and you're like, why am I still searching? <laughs> like, the Yeah, I know every page in this book. Yeah. Well, um, it is infinite. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> She's like, that's not the point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course it's uh, infinite. The Spire of Creation um, was built by the original Dragon Corps and their the, the dragons of the time period. And you do know that there is two basement layers that's accessible from the bottom layer. The door is just hidden, so you guys would just have to search for the exit. And that's kind of what you discover from the your book. Just because you end up having... Yeah, like, there's no information on this key. There's just information on the Spire of Creation that you decide to read through because it might pertain to it. So there's a secret door in the basement? So there's a secret door on the first layer of the tower that breeds access to two sub-levels. Okay. But there's no information of what's down there. There... Ah, yes. Dragon Hell. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) It's Um, the meadery. Now, simply put, it's technically a hidden door on the first fl- floor, but it's not that well hidden because they're not expecting someone to break in. Right, and bother looking for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so with, after... Go ahead. No, I was going to say, so with your information, it's more of just going down there and finding the secret door. <laughs> so after, right. like, three or four minutes of, of reading and mutter around, just like... There's a door in the basement. Oh, do we need the key? Most likely. I grab it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> kind of just stares and like, <laughs> for the briefest second, her eyes get super wide and then narrow back down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, like, who does that? <laughs> he just grabbed the artifact. <laughs> does anything happen to it? Uh, not right now. Awesome. Hey, um, I have three artifacts on my person at all times. I drive an artifact. What is so wrong about just grabbing artifacts? Yeah, I can't really do much analysis right now because of the dragon thing, so probably would have ended up just doing that anyways. Yeah. 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 Right. So the, the, the pedestal disappears, <laughs> fades away. Uh, Kenna, you would know that it definitely went... It, it just re desummoned. So it was 100% a called object. From a demiplane of sorts. Mm-hmm. Um, now isn't that teleportation? I know it's dragon magic. It doesn't it can? It can do yeah, it they. Can do it. We can't. It can do what it yep. wants. <laughs> yeah. And I'd probably bring that back. Now, why can that thing teleport? <laughs> it's just like a wormling dragon doing a bunch of cool little like cantrips and just, <laughs> just to tease you guys. Look at prestidigitation. <laughs> Rock had a good idea. You said it was a ramp. Not stairs, right? Yeah. I'm with you. <laughs> oh, God. Can you pull out sleds, Jacobs? I can pull out anything. Re-race. We'll re-race. All right. <laughs> you guys want a couple? There isn't, like, an elevator up here <laughs> that we can take. Uh, so once they're, like, halfway down the first floor sledding, uh, you do see that there is, like, literally a spot that teleports you to the bottom. Oh, it I is, know. you guys can have it. I'm, it's we're... like a full-on like Skyrim door, basically. Okay, well, we're not going to wait for them to <laughs> get down to the bottom. Yeah. So let's go get them, I guess. Yeah, there's a teleportation circle that's just on the other side of the platform. Like the platform is raised up a little bit. It's just on the one side. You just have to go over there and like push a ruin. We'd be moving so fast. Yeah, by the time we got halfway down, we'd be doing, like, Mach 1. (laughs) I mean, I do want to clarify that this ramp is not very steep. Oh, It's it's very round. Well, (laughs) we could could have wheels. We could, I could make, I could, I could get us little carts. (laughs) Alright, so as you're fashioning a bobsled, like a, like a go-kart. No, uh... I, I could pull them out of Santa Bag. Yep. You pull you just pull a bunch of little toy trains. Yeah. Alright, who wants the yellow one? I got the red one. Oh my god. 
we're gods, but we're also giant five-year-olds. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what gods are. <laughs> right. With magnifying glasses. So, um, while you guys destroy half of the tower walls on the way down, <laughs> slamming into them at Mach 3. Um, yeah, the teleportation is very smooth. Actually, something from Kenneth's point of view, like... It, it, from your point of view, this is very, very pleasant teleportation. Very, very refined. Hmm. Which is, it's nice, because some some teleportations aren't so great. Yeah. So <laughs> Sophisticated. You yeah, smell like burnt you toast afterwards. Mm. Like, you touch the rune, and you're literally just instantly at the bottom. Peaceful as could be. Except for the echoing cacophony. Oh, yeah, there's of... this awful, awful noise just ringing throughout the tower right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wish I had magic because I would totally just cast a wall of force at the bottom of it for you guys to run into. Oh my god. Does that thing break just, when it takes damage? No, not unless it's a disintegrate. Okay. Yeah. So, no. Just splat into it. So, like, just kill them. I, I just want to point out that you guys, like, would explode. you guys know, like, the, the alien, like, the UFO, like, ride where you get pushed up against the side? Yep, yep. That's kind of what you're doing, because, like, yeah. the, the walls are slightly slanted, so you guys are, like, literally just on the wall, sliding yeah. down this tower. We're riding the walls. I figured that would happen eventually. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, this has got to be an awful noise. Ugh. But could you imagine how fun that shit would be? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta so, live vicariously uh, through your immortal. Yes. Are you guys gonna go find the secret door? Uh, yes. Yeah. Anything. Right. Anything? Um, to put some distance so, between. Yeah. <laughs> it, it does take you guys a little while, a couple hours to find it, but you guys do find it. Um, it's just a very simple, there's a little fountain on the side. It's literally just push a button on the fountain, and the fountain moves aside. You go down the stairs. So like okay. I said, it, it's extremely simple. It's not meant to be looked for. Is the first place mm -hmm. is the big thing. Small enough. Oh, uh, it's it. definitely not dragon size. It is definitely humanoid size, like general human size. It is about five feet wide, and at its tallest point, going down the stairs, it's only about six and a half feet tall. So, it's. Probably not made for dragons, at least in their big form. Mm -hmm. um, are you guys gonna wait the time period for those guys to get down to the bottom? Uh, how long is it gonna take? Yeah. Kind yeah. uh, of doing the quick math, still probably over a day. <laughs> That's so fun. We're 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 go we're hauling ass for a day. <laughs> Just screaming and like banging into shit the whole way down. Like, yeah, and then no fast you're going. I mean, like, yeah, it's no, you're it's... going, you're going quite fast. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Is there is there a uh, like the stairway is right by the front door, right? Essentially, yeah. Close okay. Enough. So. Go and grab some shrubs and point an arrow to the stair. <laughs> the well, secret we'll, passageway. Well, we'll know where it is. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, there's water all over the floor now from that moving, so it's definitely noticeable. Okay. And, like, so uh, I'm, like, yelling at Rock. You know, they're probably going to yeah. leave us behind, but this is let's, fun. Let's go down there. There might be something. I mean, Jacobs has the freaking key, so we can't do anything until he gets down there, but yeah, there might be something we can study. So you're waiting? Well, they're gonna you going to go. Down? You're going? Yes. They're going to go until they get stopped by the key. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, so the first basement layer is... But I've got this, yeah. so they can't go well, anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you drop the key, so you have to like try and stop yourself and walk back up to grab it. That makes it <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, you get to the bottom and you realize you drop the key somewhere near the top. Oh, no. <laughs> um... Or no, you don't know where you dropped it, so you gotta go try and find it. <laughs> Do it all over again. Yeah. Um, so the first, the the first basement layer um, is very simplistic. It's essentially a long hallway with six very very large, do like um, spaces, almost like you would expect there to be like um, like housing locations with how big they are. They're like 
a hundred foot wide by like a hundred foot deep and you know 20 foot tall ceilings because the stairs you go down through the fountain is actually quite deep it's not just like take four steps down and you're there you go down stairs for several hundred feet before you enter this simple hallway the hallway is only 10 feet wide but it's several hundred feet long and then there's a six door six rooms basically um there's nothing in the rooms it looks like at one point in time there probably was stuff in here because you do see scrape floor scrape marks on the bottom like the floors and the walls and stuff so there were definitely things here at one point but not anymore and then at the very end of the hallway is just a stairway that leads down um there is a a small little sign like made of metal written in draconic it says do not enter and it's just posted on the side of the stairway almost like like a restroom sign or something like that so why is there a door with a lock yeah they really should have i mean i do want to point out that the dragons here follow procedure to like the t so (laughs) dragons here wouldn't break that law if it was a dragon of course well, do you, what do you think? Should we not enter? No, there's nothing here. I, they're still not here. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, I, like, I agree. I feel like they should probably have put more effort into it if they really didn't want someone to enter. <laughs> like, a little something. It's more of just a suggestion, really, than right, it's anything. Capitalized. It's, just... it's not. No, there's no capitalized. <laughs> it's just danger. <laughs> Anybody could have written that, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> okay. Um, about, like, 30 steps down on the opposite side of the hallway, it says, there's a sign that says, no, seriously, do not enter. <laughs> See, now this seems like, like a joke. It's capitalized and underlined. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it definitely seems more like a joke. Yeah. There's still no door. Yeah, the stairs keep going. All right. <laughs> so... Uh, give me just two seconds here. So, um, I followed do not enter signs. I definitely wouldn't be here today. <laughs> um, do you guys um, take time to search any of the big rooms, or was it just glancing in and then leaving? We have time. We might as well, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I was going to say, like before you guys went down, if you guys wanted to search the entire rooms, like <laughs> you have you time. Could, you could theoretically yep. spend enough time to where they're nearish the bottom. If you wanted to, like, if you wanted to, like, give them a chance to catch up. As long as there's interesting things. If there's I nothing mean, in there, then... If it's completely empty... Yeah. <laughs> How about suspiciously empty? Hmm. Because there's no dirt, debris. No dirt. They have good janitors. So I guess, I guess my point of view, would, would you take the time to look for, like, any secret doors or anything like that? Or would it just be grand, glance in, there's nothing there, then you leave? Because they, they are, like I said, they're, you know, several hundred foot wide by hundred foot long rooms to Maybe really investigate. Like 50% search? Not, not like... the first room, 50 the next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I would, I would say like Rock and um, Jacobs are probably about an hour away. From getting like the scraping is quite loud at this point, and you hear them yelling back and forth to each other, <laughs> but you just can't understand what they're saying. I'm gonna win. Yeah, you, yeah. you definitely. And then you just hear like a loud crash as they hit each other, and then like the screeching stops for a little while. You tumble across. And then the it starts back up. <laughs> uh, but seeing as they... did you see that fucking triple kickflip I did <laughs> off the wall on the 80th floor? So make sure I'm doing this right. Yep, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna bring you guys over to here then. I won based on style points alone. <laughs> so at the base of the stairs, um, you are in a long hallway. I'm just gonna be back just so you're not. We found nothing in the rooms. Nope, there was nothing at all. Cool. Um the hallway is very similar to the upper, the the other basement where it's very simple, just stone floors. But it's very long, 
It's magically lit. And at the very end of it is a five foot stand, like a standard doorway, door, but it's made of obsidian, most likely, based on the looks, with a bone handle and a bone key slot. So presumably, can dragon bone. So Jacobs has the key for this door, probably. Yep. So we have to wait. So my question for you guys is, how far down this hallway do you go? It's magically lit. Yep, so it's completely visible. Um... So you, you could see the door literally from the stairway. Does it feel bad in here? Like, I mean, like, with how... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, with how empty everything is, yes. It just seems odd. Eerie. Better, what's that? Eerie. It is, I mean, because, like, every noise echoes... Every move you make temporarily casts like a momentary shadow, like almost like you passed like a light source, but there's no light sources. Uh, it sounds like they're fairly close. We should probably just wait for them at this point. Yeah. Best case scenario, we go down to the end there and we trigger something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Rock and Jacob show up. Oh, Crash. you should have seen it. <laughs> Yeah, like, so, like, by this point, they have, like, a sliver of their shields left that they were sliding on. Because <laughs> <laughs> it became a balancing act at the end. Who won? Uh, the carts were destroyed and... Jesus. High or low? Oh. Uh, I'll, go, I'll, I'll go low. I like low. Six. So you won by a large margin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you, like... Rock's you cart just got, got fucked up early. <laughs> <laughs> He's bigger. Yeah, like that loud crash was like from him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to just going to give both of you my my best uh, disappointed school teacher look <laughs> with the intensity of a solar flare. <laughs> I'll just clap. <laughs> oh, by the way, like Jacobs and Rock, you guys did not see the do not enter sign whatsoever. Okay. Or you're, you're, too, <laughs> you're, yeah, you're, you're too busy talking about your race. Yep. <laughs> Can I, 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 I understand this probably wasn't poor taste, but who has ever gotten to Supercart down the Dragon Core Tower? Do you think I... anyone ever will again? No, we're the only two to do it. We'll be the only two to ever do it. I'm glad that you have the opportunity. However, you owe me about 24 hours of my life. <laughs> of slowly dragging our feet down towards this door. Um, yes, yes, I did realize I had the key about uh, 12 hours in. <laughs> Does everybody have a few minutes to continue on for just a little bit longer? I'm, I can go forever. Yep. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, perfect. Uh, so part of the way down, uh, you guys... In the morning have... we go. Good enough vision to where I'm not going to make you guys get all the way to the door before you guys can read this because it's quite large. Um, there's a message scribed on the obsidian door. Again, and uh, it's a draconic language, but it's a very, very ancient version of it. So, um, oh no, actually, I take that back. You guys can all read this in your native language, whichever is your native language you guys read this in. And I'll just read it just so that way you guys don't have to, necessarily. The note says, or the message says, This door shall remain locked until the start of the end times. Those that open this door shall bear the responsibilities of, the, of what lies within. Those that open this door shall accept that they are the official defenders of the multiverse. <laughs> Those that open this door shall understand that they are, have no control over being here. If you possess the key, the time has come. You are the official harbingers of the end times. Signed, Kendril, Supreme Archmage of the Multiverse. Now, Kenna, <laughs> that name. So, Who the fuck in is your. Kendril? That's Kendra's full name. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> that'd be funny. That's just Kenna's, like, full name, actually. <laughs> yeah, that'd be epic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 
there is only two times you've ever seen the name Kindreal. Um, well, at least in this context, you know, there's probably a million people named that. Um, it's a very one guy. is the original creator of the Tower of the Time. Like, the guy that literally built the first stage of the tower. Mm-hmm. The foundation and discovered the ley line nexus that it sits on. And the other is... Um, he was a extraordinarily powerful spellcaster by all accounts that essentially ruled over the outer planes in his days that predate the blood wars of like the demons and devils he was someone that during the, his time there was a supreme council of archmages that basically kept the um the planes from collapsing in on each other and stopping things like the blood war and stuff but that council eventually crumbled apart and he was there essentially again supreme archmage so if there was a the most powerful mage that ever existed it was him yeah i mean i could i could get that by the title yeah 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 i just i <laughs> I just wanted to make it very clear but, that yeah, yeah. like Which for her to nice. actually see a message that was actually written by him, like she would probably like fangirl a little bit. <laughs> like that level of like, holy oh shit. God, do you know what this is? Yeah, because there's no surviving evidence of anything of his. But you definitely see his work all the time. Monumentous. Yes. And that. Now so who had the key, Jacob? You go open the door. Yeah, alright. You don't have a say. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I would, uh, I'd finish reading. I'd say, I mean, that's I, I, at this point. I would say that too. Like, who the hell is Kindriel? As I'm walking up to open the door. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, you guys are all reading this, and you're kind of like entranced at the reading, and then you guys don't really notice Jacob's walk up, and like, as you guys all finish reading, he's opening the door. And he's like, Grr. good, why not? <laughs> Oh, shit. Well, I've always wanted to be a harbinger, apparently. No, apparently. it's a small room. Hello. So in front of you, um, on the other side of the door lies a small room. Um, the room has the appearance of that of a small child. There's toys scattered across the floor and bookshelves that line the walls. Um, you can assume that the books that are on the bookshelf are children's books, but you can't be sure. The, in the center of the back wall, there is a small bed and a child resting upon the bed. Um, those of you that you can see within it, it's very quick to realize that there's no light whatsoever in this room and the only light shining in this room is from the hallway so it's presumably dark in there until you open the door um, and with the room only being about 10 feet wide on all sides it's quite a small space do any of you decide to go in the girl is sleeping she doesn't seem to notice you you don't seem to wake her up she did sure why are you not? seeing this there's a girl in here. Yeah. Walk inside. Boop. So, give me a dexterity check, actually. Just want to see. 24. Nice. Um, you managed to not trip over any of the toys, because there's quite a few of them on the floor. Oh, damn, Legos. Yeah, yeah thanks. Uh, you managed hey, to avoid. Not a D four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a bunch of D fours everywhere. <laughs> Metal D fours. Caltrops, basically. Yep. yep. <laughs> um, so you don't make any noise unless you choose to. So you're essentially inside this girl's room, just kind of overlooking her as she lays on the yep. bed. Not uh, foreign territory for Faye. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you're like, ah, oh, this feels good. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> <laughs> this feels she's right somehow. somehow. Yeah, uh, Pierce, is like, Pierce is like me next. <laughs> I, I will study the child and see if uh, it is strange in any way. 
Um, it looks to be a human girl. Um, this is what she looks like. You guys are hovering for far too long. We were supposed to kidnap her by now. <laughs> what? Well, um, you, you have your reasons to be in a room with a sleeping uh, child, so do I. Your shit the, one. the only things that would draw your attention a little bit is that she's clutching on to what looks to be the tattered remains of like a child's blanket, like a baby blanket kind of thing. But she has no other blanket other than that. And the room is quite chilly, actually. Um, Do we and then hot and cold and stuff like that? Yeah. Okay, just wondering. Yeah, you, your senses are still there. Okay. You guys can just choose to ignore certain things. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, and then um, the other thing that she has is that she's gripping onto, the baby blanket, and then she has a extremely tattered stuffed toy that looks to be maybe an octopus or so something squiggly huh. um, but other than that she looks completely human um she doesn't seem to be making any noise while sleeping so she's pretty still is she alive oh uh, she's not dead can what if, how are you going to confirm if she's alive or not? can i see her breathing no. Pierce, is she alive? She's not undead. She's not undead. And she's not dead. Or dead. <laughs> that means she's alive, probably. The other option is alive, right? Well, that would be the third. <laughs> I mean, it's more of a gradient scale than anything. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm like, because you guys aren't technically <laughs> undead or dead. <laughs> but alive is a really odd term for you guys. <laughs> Living. Breathing. But, you but not really. It's yeah. our approximate state of being. <laughs> you guys start having this philosophical discussion. And all this... Like, what are we? <laughs> <laughs> it all comes crashing down suddenly. Well, now, Pierce, now you're, no. now you're a hell of a special case. What the hell are you? <laughs> um, he's undead. But he's also a god. Like, he's not dead. He's not... <laughs> Anywho. Um, he's not dead, man. So she doesn't look like she's breathing. She doesn't seem to be moving at all. She doesn't seem to be aware of your presence, at least yet. Shall we wake her? If you say that aloud, she wakes up. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. She, like... Magic words. She, for a brief second, she's like, Sister, have you returned? And she, like, kind of, like, brushes her eyes, like, really sleepily, and then she sees you, and she gets fucking terrified. And she, like, pushes herself up against the back wall and, like, holds a pillow in front of her like a shield. She's like, please don't hurt me. What are you? <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> this is the person we need interacting with. <laughs> I exercise my maternal instinct. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> I say again, what I are mean, you? <laughs> it, like, let's be real. Come on, like, I'm not wrong. <laughs> well, no, no. But, like, you say that, but Rock's gonna actually like try and push into the room with you. Yeah. But uh, you can, you can definitely do that. He's like, I'm, I'm me. Okay. So to clarify, like two of you being in this room would be very difficult. Like you'd have to be like leaning up against one of the shelves to do that. Especially Rock. I can do that. Rock's just thick. He's not tall. <laughs> and, but Rock's gonna be. So I, I have this image of Rock in my head of being this like big, gruff, like intimidating. Yeah, you terrify this girl to her very core. Well, you look like on, the Rock. But but his demeanor around children is the complete opposite. Like, it, it, kinda like how? Like well, I'm gonna take. Of, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the route of Kenna being like, "What are you?" And then you pushing her aside, like, "Move." <laughs> and this little girl gets that context. <laughs> like, oh, I slap my head. My, I slap my forehead. Maybe yeah. you could make a persuasion check. Yeah, you're, you're I, a big old I, mammoth tusks and mammoth hide. Like, you're terrifying. <laughs> so. He's, he's oh, cute I, in the same way that a grizzly bear is cute. Well, I was gonna... I don't know if it'll work, but I was gonna try and use my headdress to try and help persuade her and, like, negotiate with her that, hey, we're adults... We should be in charge. We're just trying to protect you and take care of you. 
Let's see here. I'm gonna just read it really quick to make sure I remember what it does. It, against people, it just gives me a advantage on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so if you're going to use your magical item to influence little girl, uh, <laughs> you can give, <laughs> give me a persuasion check. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I'm just this trying to give her to trust me. I'm not trying to, like, do anything, like, creepy uncle. <laughs> use your magic item, otherwise known as Rufy. <laughs> this is literally stranger danger. <laughs> I have a 16. To Rufy? To just calm her down and say, hey, we're not trying to hurt you. We're trying to help you. Will you help me find my sister? It depends who your sister is. We're very resourceful people. Um, what really is know. your name? Pen. Is this your labyrinth? Say okay. Pan? Yes, Pan. Or Pam? With an P N. Yeah. Pan. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah, like with the yeah. labyrinth. All right. And what's your sister's name? Hey, I I don't know. I I haven't seen her since I was really little. Hmm. I like whispered to Pierce. Is she still really little? No. <laughs> this is creepy. <laughs> This is oh, what? 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 What can you tell Still us got about the king. What's that? What can you tell us about your sister? Um, she's older than me. She has white hair. Um, that's all I can remember. She's really nice to me. I should hope so. That's what sisters are supposed to be. No, just Kenna. Is it Ileana? <laughs> I don't know who that is. Someone with white hair. Then maybe. Well, do you know how you got here? I will make an effort to not be quite as clinical. I've always been here. I've never been anywhere else. This is my room. I mean, the note on the door did kind of suggest that. Would you like to help us look for your sister? Absolutely. Like, she looks so excited. She, like, jumps up onto her feet, and, like, you can see for a second she, like, drops her, like, oh. stuffed octopus, and she gets, like, upset that she drops it. So she quickly picks it up, and then you see her, like, reach over to the shelf and grab, like, a little, like, scally cap kind of thing. Like she's told I think reuniting her with her sister is what's going to trigger the end time. <laughs> well, that remains to be seen. Did you well, see how first... open Adam she was? <laughs> is... I haven't seen my sister in so long. We need to leave this place. Yeah, how about we show you the world and you help us find your sister? Yes, that sounds wonderful. Uh... And she like starts grabbing like a handful of toys. And then she's like, wait, I'm leaving. I can't bring everything. And she starts, like, picking and choosing. She, like, she spends, like, three solid minutes just, like, running around the room, like, picking out specific toys to bring with. I start just, I, I open a, I open another bag, not my super sack, but I just say, like, yeah, just start throwing them in. You can bring everything. So you're, so you're going to let her bring everything? Yeah, I don't give a shit. Okay, so, so she brings all of her toys and starts throwing, like, her books and stuff in. And, uh, you got good perception, right? Yeah. I have 16 <laughs> passive. Books. She's got, like, the Necronomicon. Yes. Like, they're, <laughs> like, it's, like, books that, like, so the first couple are, like, you know, like, you know, Bubsy's first day at school and stuff <laughs> like this. And then, like, 17 or 18 books in, there's, like, Nepr Necronomicon 2.0. Uh, Bubsy summons that, Cthulhu. Yeah. Book that shouldn't have, a child shouldn't have. <laughs> Book that shouldn't exist, Volume Eight. Yep, that that's pretty much the way it is. I'm like, <laughs> you would definitely notice this. I'm like, uh, I I raise an eyebrow at Kenna. 
I assume I noticed this. I would look at the books just because they're books. Yeah. Yep. You, you, after the first couple, absolutely. The first they, couple you probably wouldn't notice, but... Are they? Are these, like... Um, they're extraordinarily rare books. Very rare. Are, are they books that I would consider to be, like, incredibly dangerous? Uh, or... Most of them are just, like, literal books. They're not, like, magic items or anything like that. Okay. So they're, they're books I mean, that, like, Knowledge can be dangerous by itself. Yeah, that's kind of what it is. Like, none of them have, like, as far as you remember, any spells or anything like that in them where they would directly, like, directly cause harm. But the information within them is definitely not child-friendly or anything you'd want anyone to ever form an ethos around. Right. Um, yeah, I'll just, just kind of say under my breath, uh, I'll have to look through those later. Oh, can you read them to me? I'll read them to you. I can read some of them. Which, Which ones? One? <laughs> Which one is your <laughs> we, both, we both do the sitcom thing, yeah. Which ones? <laughs> She's like, oh, this one is my favorite, and she picks up, like, so, it's a book, it's, like, pitch black, <laughs> and, and it's got, like, tentacly bindings. Oh, it's a And then book. on the front of it, it just says the old ones. Yep. It's a and it, what, she opens it up, and on the first page, there's like this super adorable like octopus that she drew on the front like page. Good and bedtime then, reading. What's that? Good bedtime, Good bedtime reading. Bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, it's the only book that glows at like so I can see. I have to open it so that way the other ones can be read. It's oh. dark in my room. Do you read this one? Yeah, this is my favorite one. And like, so, okay, so she Cause... begins to try to read to you. Like, <laughs> okay. she can't really read this. Okay. Like, she can definitely read parts of it. Like, so, like, she'll, like, she turns a page and, like, she'll start reading. And she's really slow at reading, like, any of the words. Like, she gets through it, like, the first couple pages. But it's, like, really slow going. Yeah. So, depending on how long she's in here and willing to put up with that. Um, does, 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 is she able to do, like, does her, does her voice go to alien guttural <laughs> she she's very proficient at doing the like the pronunciations because there's actually a pronunciation guide in the beginning of the book oh it's nice. how to phonetically pronounce things you really uh, don't see that kind of accessibility in uh, forbidden tombs tomes most of the time well I would go ahead and say that oh actually yeah can I Kenna would have seen a book like this before. Um, this is a very similar, so not this exact book, but it's a similar styling of um, some of the devil books that essentially entrap would be sorcerers or, or warlocks that want to try and learn how to like summon devils and stuff like that. And it basically like, encourages them by teaching them, like holding their hand to teach them. Except this is for old ones, aberrations. Yeah. yeah. Right. Huh. Yeah, that's a that's a very interesting choice. Like, I would say that there's probably like maybe a handful, up to a dozen of these that exist of your knowledge, like to this detail. Because looking at this, this isn't like a knockoff. This is like an original. Hmm. This is written by the aberrations. Yeah, this is probably written by like the original cult leaders. Nice. Probably something that's you'd want first for your edition on. shit. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, and that's why most of her books are. They look like first edition of the books that you have in your library. Like, hmm. Did your sister read these to you? Yes, when I was little, she used to read these to me all the time. Oh. She gave them to me. I see. <clears throat> uh, well, we'll have to minute. talk about that later. Okay, Rock just had like a a thing shoot through his brain. Oh, that's an idea, oh. Rock. <laughs> okay. um, or an aneurysm and now dead. Uh, do you think his sister could be Eos? Or her sister could be Eos? Huh. I mean, Not a, a bad hypothesis. We'll uh, keep that in mind going forward. I don't know. Well, nobody really knows the origin exactly of Eos. 
He was born a simple man. Oh, not really a <laughs> he or she. Maybe not now, but maybe it used to be. Certainly possible. Multiple cycles in. Anyway, but. I'll start helping her pack books so we can get out of here. I'm yeah, let, vibe to be let's let's place. get out of this this horrible place. Yeah, I'm getting a heebie-jeebie vibe being this close to Kenna. <laughs> and Me? I, <laughs> I say, is there anything uh, special you uh, don't don't want to forget? Like you might be overlooking. And like, if you let her pack everything, then she's got everything. Okay, I just wanted like wanted to see if this, she'd like go and open up like some kind of little hidden compartment that she keeps something in. No, nothing like that. Okay. She got that stuffed octopus in her hand still? Yes, like, like right. she's been holding that the whole time. Like, she even put her baby blanket down several times, but she never let go of that octopus even once. Like, yeah, when I dropped, dropped that stuffed octopus. Panicked. Yeah. All right. What's there? I sort of point at it. What's that? Is he your friend? Yes. Does he have a name? No, I don't know any names. Does he hmm. have a voice? He doesn't talk to me anymore. <laughs> anymore? So he used to. Yeah, when I was really little. Back when my sister was around. Hmm, two things. Either she puppeted it just for fun, like a toy. Or the other obvious one. Everything's totally a super kraken. Yep. <laughs> well, that's very interesting. You'll have to introduce him to, or, or us, uh, at, at a later date once we get out of this place. Do you, do you have any? Do you have any best friends like this? I do, but he's not here right now. Oh. We yeah. should go meet him. He sounds great. We will. Yeah. Want it. It, it wants to eat Solus. It wants... <laughs> uh, Solus could take him. I, I, I look at her and smile and say, do you want to meet my best friends? Yes. Not here. They wouldn't fit. No, I point. And I point Kenna, Jacobs, Pierce. Oh, that's nice. And then I say, but my bestest friend lives very far away, but I'd be happy to take you to see him. Is it near my sister? Or will he help us find my sister? I don't think my bestest friend can help us find your sister, but he is a very good friend. <laughs> okay. But I really want to find my sister. We will certainly look into this. 